Hello everybody, in this video we are going to create a desert train which has two textures, one is the sand and one is the cracked dry desert also you can control uh, the amount of the height border and uh, the, cut, the amount of the dry desert and also the amount of the uh, sand desert so uh, we are going to write a shader for that and we need two textures I download these textures from this website. I will put the link uh, down below. You need these textures and this texture. Okay. I'm going to create a new scene with a mesh. And I will call it train. Here I will add a plane, which has the 50 and 15 y direction and 15 x direction. So we should uh, give that uh, a little bit geometry, for example, 100 and 100, and then add a material. So I will add a shader material, new shader. I will specify the shader type, okay? And then I will write a fragment function. So now I need to add a noise texture. So a uniform. To sampler 2D and noise texture. Okay, and then here in the shader parameter, I will specify a noise texture. So, ensure uh, I will, the size will be 1K. And remember to click on the seamless and generate a new noise texture. Okay. So to see that noise texture, I will say here, about noise uh, texture, noise texture, and then I will say three. Nice. So the things that you want to do now, we don't want this kind of variation in our noise texture we want some part of our train would be uh, this dry desert and some part would be the sand desert so what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, specify another factor so I will show you how you can use these two so here noise is equal to smooth step cut factor cut factor plus border and noise okay so here if I come to shader parameter and I will change the border and cut factor so as you can see here some part of our train is completely black some part is completely white and between those there is a, a small border that which uh, black fades to the, the white and i can define that border with this parameter so now we need to add our textures this is the texture one and this is the texture two now what i'm going to do I'm going to put here our texture so come down here and I will put these textures in this and we want to black the black one would be our first texture and the white one would be our second texture so vector tree albedo is equal to mixture of uh, texture albedo one okay i will also define a custom uv here so vector two uv one is equal to uv vector two uv two is equal to uv We want RGB and the same for texture two here. 
I'll get you two. And the factor would be the noise. So let us see our albedo. As you can see, we have our texture, but we don't have our normal map. And this uh, dry uh, desert ground is really big. So to make it smaller, I can multiply that with a number. You can also specify a uni another uniform and change it from here, but I will change it from here. For example, six for this and the other one four. Uh, and now we have our albedo. We should do these things for also our uh, normal map and roughness. So I will do that. So now we are going to specify normal map and the roughness of our texture. So, so this is a float and now everything is okay. So now we created our texture, but we have another problem. As you know, where is the sand? Okay, we have a height. We have more height and where is the ground is the same height. So let's make this smaller even eight. Okay, so we want to make where is the sand a little bit more higher. So for that, we need the vertex shader. So we say uh, void vertex shader so we need this noise also in the vertex shader so I will bring it down here all right and we define another variable uh, which is, which define the height of the uh, sand so float height okay so here we have height and the height is right now zero I will put it like 0.1 right now okay so now I will say vertex dot y is is plus equal to noise multiply by height So, as you can see, we have a little bit height, where is the uh, sand, our sand. We don't want to exaggerate because, as you can see, we need more geometry, but if we put a little bit height, it would be much better, okay? Like this, all right? But there is another thing. Where is our dry uh, land? The land is completely flat. But where is our sand? The land is not completely flat either. It can change. So here in a smoother step, I will multiply this by noise. Okay. So here in, in sand, the height can change also. So if I increase our height, you can multiply by two noise if you want to make it more okay and let's see yeah so I will put it a little bit height a little bit border and we can change also so this is our tutorial about how you can make this kind of land train with uh, Godot shader and uh, subscribe to my channel for more video thank you very much goodbye